Hi guys, Jules here. Welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time, welcome. I am Jules. Today we are going to be doing a 20 minute core workout and all you are going to need is your mat and yourself. So whenever you're ready to feel the burn, grab your mat and let's get started. All right guys, so today getting started in our child's pose position. So taking the knees mat distance apart, big toes together and then reaching your upper body forward down between the legs and then releasing the head and chest down towards the floor, pressing into the palms, pushing the hips back over the heels, taking a breath here. Good, starting to connect with the breath. And then on our next inhale, we're gonna come up into our four point position. So wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We'll come into a few cat cows first just to warm up the spine. So on your inhale, rolling the pelvis forward, belly and ribs drop, press into the hands and lift the head and tailbone up towards the ceiling. Exhale, press the mat away from you, draw the belly button into the spine, spread the shoulder blades, gaze drops between the knees. Good, inhale. Lift, exhale, press and round, draw the belly button in, press the floor away. One more time to come up, lift, head and tailbone high as you can. And exhale, press and round, press the mat away, hold. Three, two, one. Inhale, back into our neutral spine. Puff up your upper back, so spread the shoulder blades. Curl the tailbone towards the knees, tucking the toes, take a deep breath in. Exhale, knees hover off your mat. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, out. so knees are just hovering. Good, two more. Last one in. Exhale, gently release the knees down, take a breath in. Exhale, knees come up to hover again. This time on an inhale, you tap the knees and lift. So just down and up, tiny movement here. Think of lifting with your lower belly. You've got a glass of wine on your mid back, it's going nowhere. So nice and controlled for five, four, three, two, last one, and then release the knees. Send the hips back quickly, quick little child's pose. Option to flip the palms up towards the ceiling, releasing the wrists. And then inhale, we'll come right back up. We're going to transfer the weight into the right knee. Draw the left knee in to tap your left elbow or forearm around the spine. And then inhale, extend the leg back. So as you come in, you round into your calf spine, use the core, draw the knee in, press, and then lengthen and lift. Good for three, two, last time in, extend, lift, pulse the leg, heel doesn't come lower than the hip. Breathing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, hold here. Now right arm is gonna reach forward and out. Inhale, exhale, round the spine, knee to elbow, come together underneath you. Inhale, extend and reach. Good, crunch. And in, gaze is down on your mat, neck is nice and long. Take your time here, three more. And out, two, extend, last time to come in, and then extend, we hold little pulses, so arm and leg up, let's go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right hand down, and left knee down. Right away, other side, so curl the left toes under, 
and then round the spine, bring the right knee, tap the knee, the elbow if you can, and then extend and lift. Go around to tap, extend and reach. Good. Core brings the leg in, and then use your glutes to lift the leg. Last two, and up. One more in, and then extend and pulse. Lift. Good. Try not to lean to the left. For eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Left arm reaches forward, neck is long. Inhale, exhale, round, tap, knee to elbow. Inhale, and reach. Good, exhale in. Inhale out. Slower than you want, four. Three. Two. Last time, in. And then extend, we reach, and then we pulse. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left hand down, right knee down, set the hips back, and try to close, let that go. Inhale, exhale, release. All right, coming forward. We're going to come onto our side. So your right hand is going to be uh, down, and then you're facing me. So coming right down to the elbow. So elbow underneath the shoulder, spreading the fingers nice and wide. Right leg is going to come long in line with the elbow. We're going to pop ourselves up into our side plank, reach the top arm up, stacking the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, curl the top arm towards the floor. So see how my shoulder comes down? So it's a little bit of a twist. And then inhale, back up, squeeze the shoulder blades. Good, exhale down. Inhale, lift, keep those hips high. For three, two, last time down, and bring it up, hold it here. Inhale, lower the hips about an inch. Exhale, lift. So lifting from this waistline, not the shoulder. For five, four, three, two. Last one, hold it up. Reach the arm up, bicep by the ear. Extend the leg long. Inhale, exhale, crunch, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale it in. If this is too much, you can always drop the hip to the floor and work from there. Let's go. Three, two, last one in. Press, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees together and gently release the hips down to the floor. Picking yourself up. We're gonna move through our roll down series in between. So feet come out in front. I'm gonna show you this from the side. So hips are down on the floor, feet are about a foot and a half in front of the hips, and then hip distance apart. Sitting up nice and tall, roll the shoulders back, draw the belly button in, and then we're gonna roll back to about 45 degrees. Option, you can always keep your hands on the legs or down by your side. Otherwise, arms reach forward, inhale, exhale, lower down a few inches, pause, inhale, lift. So it's all tucking at the pelvis lower and then inhale to lift. So your upper back stays the same the whole time. You lift from just below your belly button, down, and up, check in with the feet. They're firmly planted in the ground. If you're feeling a lot of this in the hip flexors, really dig the heels down. Lower, lift. One more time, down. And up, hold here. You can always keep the hands down or hands come behind the head. Inhale, exhale, crunch the left elbow towards the right knee. Inhale, extend the right leg, elbow comes out. Exhale, cross. Good, inhale, 
and cross for four, three, two, last one. Place the foot back down, right away we switch sides. Inhale, exhale, right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, cross. So you get a full thoracic twist here. So new plane of vision every time you twist. You can change the scenery. Three, two, last one, and then roll forward. Spread the knees, let that go. All right, other side. So this time, left elbow comes down to the floor. So your head's on the other side, and then bring the knees in line with the elbow. Reach the hips up, arm reaches, inhale. Exhale, twist towards the floor. So top shoulder comes down, gaze follows. Inhale, back up, stack the shoulders, squeeze behind the shoulder blades. Exhale, down. Notice if your bottom arm is in a fist, relax for three, and up, two, last one, lift, keep it lifted, inhale, lower the hips about an inch, exhale, lift. So lifting from the left obliques, no change in the shoulder, for five, breathing four, three, two, last one, hold it, right arm reaches up, bicep by right here, extend the top leg, pick it up, inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, crunch it in, inhale, extend, reach, exhale, bring it in, or out, for four, three, two, last one in, hold, five, four, three, two, one, and then gently release the hips down to the floor. This time, we're gonna flip back around and all the way down Whew, onto our backs. Roll the neck out a few times here. If you have a ponytail or something blocking your head from touching your mat, just move it out of the way. And we're going to finish with our core series on our backs. So, feet are down on the floor, just behind the hips. Interlacing the fingers, bring them behind the head, elbows nice and wide. Deep breath in. Exhale, draw your belly button in, press the lower back towards your mat, and then curl, lift the shoulder blades up off the floor, gaze is just beyond the knees. Inhale, lower, head hovers. Exhale, and lift. So just down and up. Watch the hands, they're just supporting the head. There's no yanking, neck is long the whole time, and then the lift comes from the belly. All right, so for five, four, three, two, last one up at pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then release it down, take a second. Option to keep the feet on the floor or we're gonna bring our legs up tabletop. So knees come right up over the hips. If you look down, you should be able to see the toes poking up over the knees. Press the lower back into the floor, gauge the lower abdominals, inhale. Exhale, curl, lift up. Inhale down, exhale, lift. So see how my legs are moving? There's no swinging, just the head and shoulders are lifting down and up for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, keep it lifted. We're gonna cross left armpit towards right thigh, opposite leg extends, so twist, inhale, center, exhale, cross, other side. So shoulder blades stay lifted the whole time. And center, good, 
eight, seven, six, five. Just looking beyond your armpit on each twist. Three, two, last one. Back to center pulse. Eight, seven, six, three, two, one. Good. And release the head, release the feet. Quick little surprise pulses there. Roll the head back and forth, releasing the neck. It might also feel nice to windshield wiper the knees back and forth. All right. From here, hands come down by your side. So really press the palms into the floor, engage those triceps. Shoulder blades are flat underneath you. Draw the knees in and then extend the legs up towards the ceiling. Inhale, right leg is gonna come down, heel hovers off the floor. Exhale, pull it back up. Inhale, left leg comes down. Exhale, scoop it back up. So just alternating, pause at the bottom and lift. Lower back stays planted in the floor the whole time. For eight, seven, keep the head down, take it out of your neck. Five, four, three, two, last one, and then together, both legs are gonna come down to about 45 degrees, pause, inhale, exhale, slowly bring it up, good again, inhale, down, pause, exhale, slower than you want, lift, two more, pause, exhale, good, last time, bring it down, 45 degrees, hold, and then we're gonna flutter kick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1. Lift it back up, inhale, exhale. Bring it down, 45 degrees, hold. This time scissors, so one over the other. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, last one, draw the knees in. Give yourself a squeeze, rock it side to side. We're almost there. Last one, legs are gonna come back up. We're gonna come into a half circle to the right, down, pause about halfway. Exhale, scoop back up. Other side, come down and lift. So try and keep your lower back and both hips down the whole time. Pause and up. Good, lower if you need to, you can bend the knees. Lift, let's go four more. Watch that you're not swinging. Four, three, and up. Two, last time, over. And lift, bring the knees back in, give yourself a squeeze, massage the lower back, so draw circles Ooh, on the ceiling with the knees, and then switch directions, and around, and then bring the bottoms of the feet together, knees come wide for a butterfly pose, release those hip flexors, you're probably feeling it a little bit there too. Option two, Rock the knees back and forth. And then all together, deep breath in. Exhale, let that go. Keep your hands outside the legs, close them up like a book. And then start to rock and roll along the spine. Ooh, I can feel my abs here. And bring it up. And that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to hear feedback uh, in the comment section below if you found that difficult, if you liked it, what you'd like to see more of. Um, have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time.